Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to construct a game, a two by two uh, strategy game without any Nash equilibriums. So what we want to do, or I guess equilibria, um, we're going to think about player one and player two and what their choices could be. So you could fill in like kind of whatever you want. Let's say, uh, let's say the two players are playing a pricing game um, or the two firms. Okay, so price, we could raise our price, or we could lower our price. And so those are our strategies. So player one, if they raise price versus if they lower price, and then player two, raise price versus lower price. I mean, the, the options here could be anything, which you'll often see on the more abstract games is like somebody has a strategy, it's just like A and B, that player one can play A or B, and player two could play c or d whatever you want to do so i've just got my pricing game and then we want to say that the payouts in the uh in uh in the in each box there they refer to, to profit okay so profit's usually written as pi so we're gonna put commas to separate uh from player one and player two and i'll also draw them in uh, different colors. So let's actually say that player two would be the red player, make it a little easier. Okay, so uh, let's have player one uh, with a option. It's it's your choice. You can kind of just make up, let's say that they raise their price uh, and this is the choice that you want it to be. So then this this choice here has to be lower, okay? Uh, so rather that not that choice, but that payout. So put that in yellow. So faced with uh, raise or lower price after player two raises their price. In this case, it'd be better for player one to raise their price. Uh, then I want to make sure that player two doesn't pick this. So I need to make uh, when player one raises their price, player two needs to not raise their price so it needs to be better to lower their price so let's put an eight here we'll put a six here i guess i'm writing in all red um, not necessarily good um, so faced with that choice player one raises player two is going to lower so now i i don't have that as a nash equilibrium then i need uh this to not be the choice taken by player two so let's Again, take black and we'll say 10 versus 8. It, the, the numbers don't really matter as long as you make the, the choice you want to be higher. Okay, so now, now that can't be a Nash equilibrium. And then, so, so the last one, I need to make this more advantageous than this. Okay, so we could say 10 over here, 8 over here. So now, Player two will choose to raise prices when player one lowers prices. Um, this may not make economic sense. That's why choosing A and B, C and D, or you could make up a different game. Maybe it's like a new product or something like that. But um, that's how you want to construct it. So you can just solve your game um, where, you know, if I take away these yellow just to check it. We're just going to solve the game here. So player one is going to go uh, 10 is better than 8. And then so player, player one has what's called a mixed strategy in this game. And then I want to make sure that I didn't construct this game so that there were any Nash equilibrium. And there, there's none because I didn't circle both options in any of these games. So that that's how to do that methodically. You just slowly go through and make sure that the payouts are never advantageous so that they both pick uh, a, a set where um, that creates a Nash equilibrium.